Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Randy Evans. I'm a yoga teacher with the Wheat Ridge Recreation Center here in Wheat Ridge, Colorado. Hope you're doing well today. We're going to be doing a little bit shorter flow today, something about maybe 30 to 40 minutes. So if you are a little bit more limited on time throughout the week, this would be a good option here for you. Something that allows you to get your blood flowing and moving, kind of allows you to kind of shake the cobwebs loose if you're just waking up today, or maybe just kind of letting everything kind of filter out through your body. Maybe your day is starting to let it go. So I'm going to recommend if you do have a blanket or a bath towel for padding underneath your knees, and you are definitely welcome to use any other props throughout your practice. So if you have any yoga blocks, Amazon boxes, hardback books, anything that can help raise the floor up for you, feel free to go ahead and grab that now. And then we will meet in a comfortable cross-legged seat here and make sure your towel or blanket is nearby. <clears throat> so come to find your comfortable cross-legged seat, cross of legs that feels comfortable to you today, place where your spine can rise up tall and straight, your shoulders releasing down away from your ears, either side of the neck beginning to lengthen here. Take a moment here to just notice how things physically feel within your body today. So just do a quick scan as you start from the crown of your head, going down through the neck and the shoulders, the torso. Start to notice places where you're holding on to stress, places where you're noticing any constriction or restriction. And as you continue the scan throughout the length of your body, down through your hips, your legs, all the way through your toes, you might notice places where you don't observe a whole lot of sensation or places that maybe feel a little more open today. So take this full physical picture of you into account here. And now notice your breath. Now the 28,000 breaths or so we take each day, we don't typically tend to pay a whole lot of attention to even just one of them. But you have the next 30, 40 minutes here, an opportunity to focus on your breath. So notice how your breath feels right here and now. Maybe your breath is deep and full. Maybe it is more shallow. Maybe it's something that comes easily today, like it's almost invited when you take a breath. Or maybe today's a day where you have to remind yourself. Maybe there are moments that go by where it feels like we forget we're breathing. But however your breath is, just like your body, it is completely perfect in this moment here. So as you come to your mat, knowing that you are perfect right here, right now. With the eyes closed, we'll start to connect with our breath. So go ahead, draw in a deep, full inhale, filling up all the way to your very fullest point. And when you're ready, open the mouth, sigh your breath away as you release it all out. Again, another full deep inhale through the nose all the way to your fullest point. And opening the mouth, sigh your breath away, let it all go. Last time, one more full deep inhale through the nose. At the top of that inhale, retain that in-breath just a little bit longer here. And then opening the mouth, sigh your breath away, let it all go. Now as you continue to breathe, your mouth closes, you redirect the breath through your nostrils. Allowing deep full inhales to be drawn in through your nose and deep full exhales to be released back out through your nose. Start to find an even, smooth cadence here, a natural rhythm to your breath, acting as the metronome to your practice today. Deep full inhales here through your nose, and deep full exhales back out through your nose. 
And as you continue to maintain this breath, if you like, you can add a soft ujjayi sound to your breath. So you're constricting the back of your throat just slightly, kind of the sound that Darth Vader makes here. So fogging up a mirror with your mouth closed is also another app description here. So inhaling deeply through the nose, and as you exhale, the mouth is sealed, fogging that imaginary mirror in front of you. This is a warming breath, a balancing breath that will help to keep you smooth, even, and focused throughout your practice today. And then as you continue to breathe, when you're ready, start to make your way through to find all fours. Recommending if you do have that blanket or that towel, find it for underneath your knees. And we'll meet in a neutral tabletop here. With the wrists aligned underneath the shoulders, the knees aligned underneath the hips, your spine is long and straight. Your crown of the head is reaching to the front, your tailbone is reaching to the back. Let's begin with a few rounds of cat and cow to find awakening through the spine. So inhale, tuck the toes, lift the gaze, release your belly down. And exhale, push the mat away around as you look at your navel. Inhale, lift the gaze, tuck the toes, drop the belly down. Exhale, push the mat away around as you look at your navel. Last time, tuck the toes, inhale, lift the gaze, drop your belly. Last time, exhale, untuck the toes, push the mat away and around. And then coming back through to your neutral tabletop, when you're ready, your next inhale will extend your right leg out long behind you. Take a moment to square your hips off. So if that right hip is hiked up higher than the left, see if you can lower it down just a bit. We're going to keep our arms straight here, fingers facing forward, belly button is drawn in and up. Take a deep full inhale here. As you exhale, I want you to lift that leg as you bend your elbows, release your chin down. Twice more inhale, press to lift back up. Exhale, dip your chin, lift your leg. Last time, inhale, press to lift back up. Last time, exhale, dip your chin, lift that leg. From here, inhale, press to lift back up, and then tucking your left toes behind. When you're ready, next inhale, lifting up, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw the knee towards your nose. Inhale, extend that right leg back up tall. Exhale, draw knee towards your nose. Last time, inhale, extend that right leg out. Last time, exhale, round, draw the knee towards your nose and hold in here. Deep full inhale through your nose. And as you exhale, go ahead, lower down to your left knee, drop that right knee back down to your mat and pressing back to child's pose briefly. From here, rest your head down on the mat, shift your hips side to side. And then taking this to the other side, lifting yourself back up to your tabletop, toes are tucked behind you. Next inhale, this time you'll press your left leg long behind. Take a moment again to square your hips off, your belly button is drawn in and up. Lower that left hip down until it's in line with the right. Elbows are square towards the midline here, fingers facing forward, deep full inhale here. And exhale, dip your chin, lift that leg. Twice more inhale, press to lift back up. Exhale, dip your chin, lift that leg. Last time inhale, press to lift back up. Last time exhale, dip your chin, lift that leg. All right, from here inhale, pressing yourself back up to your tabletop with that leg extended back. And then when you're ready, toes tucked, lift that right knee up, finding your three-legged dog. Take a deep full inhale here. Exhale, draw the knee to your nose and round. Twice more inhale, press, lift that leg up. Exhale, draw that left knee towards your nose. Last time inhale, extend that left leg back out. Last time exhale, draw the knee up towards your nose and holding here. Breath is strong, smooth and steady. 
deep full inhale here and exhale lower back down to your knees pressing yourself back to your child's pose once again wonderful now from here resting the head down gently rocking the head side to side maybe shifting your hips side to side also and then coming back to your tabletop when you're ready lifting back up hands right underneath your shoulders toes tucked behind you inhale lift the gaze drop your belly exhale toes tucked lift the hips up high downward facing dog from down dog you can start to pedal out through your feet find a little bit of movement here maybe shaking your head yes or shaking your head no When you're ready, next inhale, shift yourself out to a high plank and holding here. Belly button is drawn in and up, tearing that mat apart imaginally in between your hands, tearing the mat apart in between your feet here, stabilizing across your shoulders and your low back. Deep full inhale here through your nose. Exhale, lift the hips side away, downward facing dog. Twice more. Next inhale, shifting back out to that high plank and holding here. Breath is strong, smooth and steady. One more full deep inhale here. Exhale, lift the hips side away, downward facing dog. Last time, when you're ready, inhale, shifting back out to that high plank and holding here. Belly button is drawn in and up again supporting yourself across your shoulders and your low back one more full deep inhale here and exhale lift the hips side away downward facing dog great job all right from here next inhale the gaze will go up to your hands start to tiptoe your feet until you meet your hands at the top of your mat you can set that blank or towel off to the side here from here step your feet out hip width distance Scoop up opposite elbows and just gently ragdoll it here side to side. Maybe shaking your head yes or no. And then releasing the fingers down towards the mat. Your next inhale, slowly start to rise up the length of your spine. Each vertebrae stacking above the next until eventually you'll find yourself standing at the top of your mat. Go ahead and step your feet in a little bit closer. Your feet are about hip width distance apart. Hands are right down beside your hips, standing up tall and straight here. From here, begin to puff out through your chest, draw the shoulders together behind your back and your chin is slightly tilted downward here. From here, next inhale, arms and gaze will circle up above your head. As you exhale, start to swan dive as you lead with your heart. Inhale to lift your chest up halfway. Exhale to plant the hands and step your way back to a high plank. Holding this high plank here, belly button is drawn in and up. Again, working with this a couple times before, working to stabilize across the shoulders and your low back. One more full deep inhale here. As you exhale, you can take knees, chest, and chin, or if you're ready, lower down halfway, Chaturanga. Next inhale, lifting to find an upward facing dog. And exhale, roll over the toes, lift the hips up high, downward facing dog. From down dog, next inhale, lift the right leg up to the ceiling. And then if you'd like to go deeper, you can start to bend that knee, open your hip, taking the gaze underneath your right armpit here. You can rotate through that ankle, one direction and then the next. And then inhale, straightening your hips. Exhale, draw the knee up towards your nose and holding here for three, two, one. And then you're gonna plant that right foot up by your right hand. Keep your back toes tucked, that back knee floating. When you're ready, inhale to slowly rise up to your high crescent lunge. 
Arms and gaze are lifted above your head. Take a deep, full inhale through your nose, lift the arms up. Exhale, drape the arms and torso down and forward. Twice more inhale, lifting the arms and gaze back up. Exhale, draping the arms and torso down and forward. Last time inhale, lift the arms and gaze back up. And as you exhale, release the hands slowly down to the mat, about six inches to a foot in front of your right foot. When you're ready, next inhale, lift off your back foot, find your standing splits. Exhale to set that left foot beside your right. Inhale, lift your heart up halfway. Exhale, folding down over your feet. Inhale, reverse swan dive, arms and gaze circle above your head. Exhale, draw the hands back down to heart center. Second round, inhale, arms and gaze stretch back up. Exhale, swan dive as you lead with your heart. Inhale, lift your chest up again halfway. And this time as you exhale, plant your hands, step back to that high plank and hold. Breath is strong, smooth and steady here. Stabilizing that support across your upper back and across your low back, lifting that belly button a little bit higher up here. One more full deep inhale. And as you exhale, lowering down through your chaturanga or knees, chest and chin. Inhale to slide forward and find your upward dog. And exhale, roll over the toes, lift the hips back up. Downward facing dog. I'm gonna switch to the other side here so you can see me a little bit better. Next inhale, you're gonna lift your left leg up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, start to bend that knee, open your hip, gaze is underneath your left armpit here. You can start to rotate through that ankle, one direction, then the next. And next inhale, straightening your hips. As you exhale, draw the knee up towards your nose and hold here for three, two, one, and then plant that left foot up by your left hand. Awesome. Now work to square your inner thighs together. Your left hip draws back, your right hip draws forward. Use that momentum and that stability to help lift you up to your full crescent lunge here. From here, deep full inhale through your nose. And exhale, drape the arms and torso down and forward. Twice more inhale, lift the arms and gaze back up. And exhale, releasing everything down and forward. Last time inhale, go ahead and circle the arms and gaze back up. And then this time, as you exhale, the hands will release down in front of your left foot. Start to lift off of that back foot. Find your standing splits just briefly here. And then your next exhale will set that right foot down beside the left forward fold. Inhale, lift your heart up halfway. Exhale, folding down over your feet. Inhale this time. Rise up into your imaginary chair, Utkatasana. For those who'd like a little more challenge, from here, maybe you choose to lift your heels up off the mat, pressing down into your toes. Take a deep, full inhale here. And as you exhale, sink a little bit deeper into the pose. Take the arms parallel with your shoulders. From here, gaze goes to your right thumb, deep, full inhale here. And exhale, go ahead and swing that right arm towards the back. Inhale, swing that right arm forward. And exhale, swing your left arm back. Inhale, swing that left arm forward. And exhale, swing both arms back and holding here. If your heels aren't lifted, you can go ahead and lift them now. If you still have them lifted, sink down a little bit deeper here. Now, see if you can keep your heels lifted if you have them here. When you're ready, next inhale, rise up all the way to stand, arms and gaze above your head. 
And exhale, release the heels, cactus your elbows towards the sides. Inhale, stretch the arms back up. Exhale, swan dive down over your feet. Inhale, lift your chest up halfway. And this time as you exhale, step your left foot to the very back of your mat. Lift up and find your high crescent lunge here. Continue to draw your right hip back, left hip forward here, squaring your hips to the front of the room. Deep full inhale through your nose. Exhale, twist open to the right. Twice more, inhale, reach the arms back up. Exhale, twist open to the right. Last time, inhale, reaching the arms and gaze back up. And last time, exhale, twist open to the right and hold here. When you're ready, next inhale, go ahead and circle the right and the left hand to meet up at the ceiling and straighten your front leg. As you exhale, pivot off your back foot, open out to your warrior two. In your warrior two, gazes out over your middle right finger. If you'd like, option here to float that heel above the mat. When you're ready, if that heel's lifted, release it down. Inhale, extend that right arm forward. And exhale, reverse your warrior here. Continue to sink into that right knee. Gaze is up underneath that armpit, maybe looking up towards your outstretched fingers. When you're ready, next inhale, straighten that front leg to reverse your triangle. Find a little bit more length along that side. And then when you're ready, next inhale, we'll lift you up through to a T. When you're ready, go ahead and shift your left hip back, reach that right hand forward. And then as you exhale, rotate into your triangle pose here. One more full deep inhale here. As you exhale, lower that left hand down to the mat. Get ready to lift off of your back foot. We're gonna come back to standing splits. So when you're ready, lift off of your right foot and extend the left foot up to the ceiling here. You can play with balance by taking one hand or bow to that standing ankle if you like. And then take one more full deep inhale here. As you exhale, you're gonna set your left foot to the very back of your mat. And then you're gonna walk your hands away from that right foot mm -hmm. until you're facing the long edge of your mat here. From here, the hands will release to your hips. Tuck the chin in as you slowly pull yourself up to standing. Drop the chin into your chest. From here, inhale, arms and gaze, reach up above your head. As you exhale, release your torso down halfway, your arms about shoulders width apart, reaching forward here. Take a deep full inhale through your nose, and exhale, cactus your elbows as if you were swimming here. Twice more inhale, reach the arms forward. Exhale, squeeze the elbows back as you draw them. Great job. Last time, inhale, reach the hands forward. Last time, exhale, cactus your elbows back and hold here. Take a deep, full inhale through your nose. And now as you exhale, releasing the hands down to the mat. From here, grab opposite elbows. Gently start to sway it out here side to side. All right, listen carefully. Next exhale, you're gonna release your hands down to the mat. And then from here, we're gonna to move to the other side. So you're gonna be probably facing the back of your room here. Just listen to my voice, follow the cues. So you're gonna take your left toes, turn them to face probably the back of your mat. We're gonna rotate that back foot up and find our high crescent lunge on the left side here. 
So again, you're probably facing towards the back of your room here, which is perfectly fine. You're going to come back to the front eventually. From here, inhale fully through the nose. Exhale, open your arms out to the side. Right hand reaches forward, left hand reaches back. Twice more inhale, reach the arms and gaze back up. Exhale, twist the arms to the left. One more time, inhale, reach the hands back up. And last time, twist and open your arms to the left. Now from here, when you're ready, next inhale, circle the left to meet the right up at the ceiling, straighten your front leg, and then pivot off your back foot, spinning it down to find your warrior two. Again, gaze is out over your left hand here. Option to float your left heel up off the mat if you'd like a little bit more activation here. And then if that heel's lifted, now go ahead and release it down. Take an inhale, reach that left hand to the front, and then exhale, flip, and reverse your warrior here. Continue to sink into your left knee, find an opening along your left side here. Next inhale, we'll straighten your left leg, reversing your triangle, find a little bit more length here. And then when you're ready, next inhale, we'll lift you back up to a T, both arms are straight, preparing for your triangle. So when you're ready, next inhale, shift your right hip back, reach your left hand forward, and then as you exhale, rotate into your triangle. That left hand can come to your ankle, the toes, if you're used to going into this a little deeper. If you have a block, you can set that block, or if you have a water bottle, that also works. Hand goes on top of that. Extend your right up to the ceiling here. Take one more full deep inhale here. And as you exhale, go ahead and lower that right hand down to the mat. We're going to lift off of that back foot, coming to standing splits. So when you're ready, lift off so that you're balancing on your left foot to find your standing splits. Again, one hand or both to that standing ankle if you'd like to play with your balance. Take a deep full inhale here through your nose. As you exhale, you're going to set your right foot again to the very, probably, front of your mat. And then you're going to start to walk your hands away from that left foot, facing that long edge once again. From here, hands will catch your hips, tuck the chin slowly, lift yourself back up to standing, drop the chin down into your chest. From here, you're going to turn your heels in, your toes facing out here, and sink your hips into goddess pose here. When you're ready, next inhale, lift your right heel up off the mat. Continuing to balance, notice that shift in weight here. One more full deep inhale. Exhale, release that heel down, lift your left heel up this time. Again, observe that shift in weight. Continue to breathe here. One more deep inhale. And exhale, release that left heel down. When you're ready, next inhale, lift both heels up. Continue to sink down a little bit deeper and continue to breathe. One more full deep inhale here. And now as you exhale, you're going to release your heels, straighten your legs. Feet are going to be again parallel, facing the front, and release back down over your feet. Awesome. From here, you're going to turn your right toes to face the front of the room. Hands will walk over towards that foot. When you're ready, next inhale, stepping back to a high plank. Deep full inhale here. Exhale, lowering down Chaturanga. Inhale, lifting the find upward facing dog. And exhale, lift the hips up high. Downward facing dog. From down dog, the biggest inhale you've taken in all day. And open your mouth, sigh that breath out. 
From here, go ahead, drop down to your knees, swing your legs around, come through to your seat, and then from your seat, play at the feet about hip width distance, reaching your arms towards the front here. Take a deep full inhale through your nose. As you exhale with control, start to lean yourself back. Now, eventually you're gonna to start to lean back enough where you might start to float the feet up off the mat and we can come to boat pose very briefly here. If you take this boat pose, start to lift up again through your chest, gaze down towards your feet. Breath is strong, smooth and steady. Deep full inhale here. And now as you exhale, continue that rounding as you release all the way down to your back and hug your knees in. Start to rock it out here side to side. And then as you come back to center, go ahead and reach your arms through the insides of your knees to grab the outer edges of your feet. Find happy baby here, gently rocking from side to side. From here, go ahead and release the feet back down to the mat. The knees will point up to the ceiling, the feet about hip width distance apart here. And then you're gonna release your hands down beside your heels. We're gonna take this bridge in three rounds here. We're gonna, as we lift our hips, inhale to extend our arms above our head. And then as we exhale, we're gonna release our hips and hands down. We're gonna to try to see as we take each round here, if we can refine it, matching the arms with the legs on each inhale. So when you're ready, next inhale, lift your hips and your arms as you slowly inflate, drawing the arms up above your head and in your fullness, observing here briefly. And then as you exhale, release the hips down, lower the arms, see if one touches the mat before the other. Second round, inhale, filling up, arms and hips lift up. And exhale, releasing everything back down. Last time, inhale, lift the hips and the arms up above your head. And then you can either hold here with the arms extended up above or Go ahead and reach the arms down underneath you. Clasp the hands underneath your bum. Press into the back of the head to lift up and tuck your shoulder blades underneath. Coming into your full bridge pose here. <clears throat> Pardon me, full bridge pose here. Take one more full deep inhale. And as you exhale, release the hands, release the hips slowly back down to the mat. And then go ahead, hug the knees in, wrap the arms around, rock it out here side to side. As you come back to center, take your arms out to a cactus or a T. The knees are side by side here, or to go deeper, cross the right knee over the left here to start. And then from here, set the feet down on the mat. You're gonna press into your feet and the back of your head. Lift your hips up and scoot them off to the right just about an inch or two. Release them back down. And then this will help you to take your knees over to the left side into a reclined twist with your gaze back over your right shoulder towards that extended hand. And then back to your breath. Deep inhales here through your nose. And deep exhales back out through your nose. And then when you're ready, next inhale, go ahead and lift the knees back up on center. Uncross them, hug them back into your chest. And then arms again, come back out to the sides. Again, you can keep the knees side by side, or if you're taking that cross, left leg goes over the right as many times as you'd like. You can even eagle the legs if your hips are working with that today. Go ahead and set the feet down on the mat, press into the back of the head and your feet to lift your hips up. 
and then scoot them to the left side just a bit before releasing back down. Now your knees want to drop to the right side. Your gaze will go back over your left shoulder towards your left hand. When you're ready, your next inhale will slowly lift your knees back up to center. Go ahead and cross them, return the hips back on straight, and hug your knees back in. Wrap your arms around and rock it out here side to side. As you come back to center, hugging the knees in towards your chest. Take a deep full inhale here through your nose. And as you exhale, draw knees to nose, the nose up towards your knees to squeeze out all that air. And then when you're ready to invite your Shavasana, your final resting pose of your practice, you'll extend the legs towards the outer edges of your mat, the hands releasing down beside your hips. From here, maybe you press in the back of the head, lift up, tuck the shoulders underneath you, releasing down, finding an opening across the upper part of your chest. The feet can splay out to the sides. You can keep the hands out or you can rest the hands on the belly if that feels better or extend it up above your head. The goal here is to find comfort and ease in the way that suits you best. And then from here, eyes softly closed, just breathe. Letting go of any control of the breath, allowing everything just to be as it is in this moment here. Taking in your physical surroundings, any ambient sounds you notice, any taste within the mouth, any sensations you feel on the skin. Any sense the nose picks up. Any shapes or colors that you're observing behind the darkness of your eyes. Noticing the rising and falling of your breath. smooth and even cadence, like waves on the ocean here. From here, starting to guide some attention and awareness back towards your breath. Naturally allowing your inhales and your exhales to gradually deepen and become fuller. Until eventually your breath returns back to its natural rise and fall. And then from here, start to bring movement back to your fingers and toes, wiggling out, exploring some movement here. Shaking the head yes, no, 
rolling it from side to side. And as you start to reawaken back into your arms and your legs, if you would like, you can extend everything out long, reaching out to find the tallest version of you today. And then your next exhale, draw the knees in towards your chest. Wrap your arms around, holding everything in tight, thanking yourself for coming to your mat today sharing in your breath, sharing your practice. And then when you're ready, gently release down to the left or your right side, whatever feels most comfortable to you. Press the lower hand to the mat until you can lift yourself back up. And we'll meet in a comfortable cross-legged seat, hands at heart center, eyes softly closed. Take again a moment to observe your body and your breath. See if there's been any shift or change since when you first walked onto your mat here. And then heading out into the rest of your day, knowing that what you've cultivated here on your mat, helps to take you throughout your day, wherever you need to go. The eyes softly closed, deep full inhale here through your nose. As you exhale, release the chin to your heart, sigh your breath away, let it all go. Hey everyone, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoy this quick express practice, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day ahead. I do teach uh, right now with the We Ridge Recreation Center on Wednesday mornings at 7 a.m. You can register online at rootedinfun.com. Participants are limited to about nine, and I know they close the registrations the evening before at about eight o'clock. So if you're interested in coming, um, yeah, 7 a.m., We Ridge Recreation Center. I also have other recorded classes here on YouTube with the Rec Center's uh, channel, and also my own personal uh, live classes on randyevansyoga.com. Thank you for joining me today. Enjoy the rest of yours. The light within me bows and honors the light within each of you. Namaste.